And doctor, we have a couple of viewer questions this evening as well. Rita writes, I had the second shot of the Moderna vaccine on Tuesday. Two days later, I got a hive-like rash on my hands, forearms, inner thighs, and stomach. I've heard of COVID arm, but had never heard of this reaction. Does taking an antihistamine like Zyrtec affect the efficacy of the vaccine? Yeah, so there are some people who can develop a rash days after getting vaccinated. Could be from the vaccine itself, could be from something else, but might be related to sort of the immune response ramping up. It is perfectly fine to take an antihistamine like Zyrtec or Benadryl if that happens in your case, but obviously you want to check with your doctor to make sure that that's exactly what we're dealing with. And hopefully that goes away quickly. Pat, also known as Grammy, writes, I received the J&J &J vaccine about three weeks ago. My granddaughter is seven years old and had a stem cell transplant and is immunocompromised. Can I safely be close to her at this point? We are missing each other and virtual visits just aren't enough, but I don't want to jeopardize her health. Oh, that must be so hard for both you and for your granddaughter. Um, again, until we get more information to say that those of us who are fully vaccinated can't pose a threat to other people by getting infected and transmitting the virus to them, I think you still need to be really careful with your granddaughter because she's at high risk of severe COVID-19. So I would suggest that you continue to see her outdoors with masks on and socially distanced. And, but you, of course, can talk to her pediatrician to get more information. All right, good advice. Thank you, doctor. Dr. Malika offers her best advice, but as always, consult your personal doctor before making any decisions about your health. If you have a question for Dr. Malika, there are three ways you can reach her. First, email drmalika at cbs.com, on Twitter, at Malika Marshall, or you can Facebook message her, Dr. Malika Marshall.